In this chapter we follow up on the last section and show you how to work with a video that's already been placed on the timeline. First let's go over the timeline view zoom functions and the time unit change. Let's move several clips on the timeline one by one. Not all are visible. We should therefore change the viewing scale. We'll proceed as follows. We have adjusted the timeline viewing scale so that all clips are visible regardless of their length. In this section, the scale change is located and can be accomplished in a number of ways. Let's see some of them. To change the scale quickly, the control key shortcut can be used while turning the mouse scroll wheel. An alternative is the control key shortcut in combination with the plus or minus keys. Let's now look at how unwanted clips are erased from the timeline. Here's how it's done. Select a video clip and press the delete key. The selected video clip has been erased from the timeline. Note that no gap is left in its place, since the video clips on the right have shifted and filled the gap of the erased clip. In order to prevent the clips to the right from moving into the gap, use the override mode function. This function can be turned on and off as needed. 